the best liquid lipstick? We'll see about that. What's up friends? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing the new liquid lipsticks from Tom Ford. This is the Liquid Lip Luxe Matte. I have three of the shades to demo for you guys today. I'm gonna be sharing all of my thoughts about the formula and whether or not these are worth $59. So if you wanna hear all of my completely honest thoughts, then keep watching. Okay, party people, you know the drill. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. I'll link the lipsticks and anything else that is on my face today in that description box down below. I do use affiliate links. And if you are new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Sophia and I am obsessed with luxury beauty. So if you love luxury beauty, I upload content every single week. Hit that subscribe button. And without further ado, let's talk about the liquid lipsticks from Tom Ford. When I first saw the promo photos for these, I I really did not care. Okay, another liquid lipstick. And then I saw the shade selection. And oh, if you know me, you kind of know I love reds. I love bright colors. I love toasted browns and oranges. I love nudes. Pretty much anything other than like a rose and a mauve. I was intrigued. And I really like these types of shades in a liquid lipstick formula. Because if it's brighter, I want it to be crisper, last longer. You guys know the drill. So I had to give these a try. Now these retail for $59. I know these can set you back quite a bit. Also another reason why I want to review them and let you guys know if they are worth it. They come in 10 shades and on the Sephora website, these are described as long lasting, buildable and transfer resistant. This lipstick melts luxuriously onto lips with a cloud like consistency, visibly smoothing and blurring fine lines. I will comment on each of those claims because it's a lot of claims. Let me show you guys the three shades that I picked up, starting off with Devoted. This is described as a terracotta rose. I would almost say this is more like a rose brown. It's really hard to sort of tell the difference between some of the colors on the website, but I really do love it. If you want something that is more of like a toasted red, something a little bit deeper, I think you're really going to love Devoted. This is probably the most wearable one day to day out of the three that I picked up. The next color that I picked up is called Secret Rendezvous. How could I not pick it up with that name? This is described as a toasted chestnut. Once again, I wouldn't call this a toasted chestnut. I actually thought the Devoted looked more like a toasted chestnut. It has a little bit of brown. I would describe Secret Rendezvous more like a true deep red. I usually like to call this kind of shade red velvet because it reminds me of a red velvet cupcake, something that is a true red, but just a little bit deeper. If you're afraid of going too bright, I think that this is a really good true red to go for. And also if you just want something that is maybe a little bit different from the other bright reds that you have in your collection. And then lastly, we have the shade that I'm wearing on my lips today. This is my favorite one. This is called Temptress. And this is described as a raspberry red. Wow, when I first swatched this and applied it to my lips, I couldn't believe how beautiful and vibrant this color is. This is what I like to call snow white poison apple red. This is like cherries in the snow, super bright, true red, but it does have that kind of raspberry tone. It's not too orange. It's a little bit more of like that blue base. Oh my goodness, absolutely gorgeous. And this is the shade if you really want your teeth to look super white this is the shade to get. I also wanna show you guys real quick some close-ups of what the packaging looks like. I think it's absolutely beautiful. I like the Tom Ford packaging in general, but these are particularly nice. I like the fact that it comes with this sort of frosted vial and then the top, it's just beautiful and gold. It really does feel luxurious. I will also show you guys here what the applicator looks like. It's pretty standard, but what's nice about it is that it's flat, it's pointy, it has a little bit of like a well right there in the center to grab some of the product, but not too much. And that pointiness that you get, the shape of the applicator, makes it really easy to trace around the lips. You guys probably saw in the demo just now, to trace around the lips to kind of get that perfect shape. I did not need to use a lip liner with any of these liquid lipsticks. I feel like it's really easy to apply it just with this little applicator that we have right here. I feel like it's pretty much like the perfect size. Let's talk about the formula and whether or not this lives up to the claims. This is a liquid lipstick. And I feel like nowadays that is kind of a confusing term. You really don't know what you're going to get. When liquid lipsticks first came out on the market, they were very long lasting, but they were also very drying on the lips. I feel like there are some formulas that they last long, but they're not very buildable. 
they get dried out and I almost feel like I have to scrape them off my lips just to go in with a new layer or to remove them at the end of the day. Then we have other brands that in reaction to that came out with liquid lipsticks that were more or less just like using a regular matte or cream lipstick, except it came in a different format. It came in kind of like a vial that you would spread across your lips. You get a lot of that moisturization. It feels like a regular lipstick, but you don't really get that longevity. I feel like these from Tom Ford, they're somewhere in between. You get a lot of longevity, but they also don't dry out your lips too much. It's not like using a regular Tom Ford matte or satin lipstick, not at all. It's definitely a different formula, something for folks who are liquid lipstick lovers, honestly. You guys probably saw in the demo that while you're applying it, it's very workable. It has a soft kind of cloud-like feel to it almost a little bit silicone-y. It's super easy to spread, but what's nice is that you can build it up to full opacity. I don't like liquid lipsticks that I put them on and I really feel like I can't get that full bright color. That's what I look for from a liquid lipstick. I want full on color saturation opacity and then I want it to last. I like the fact that this is workable. It's easy to apply, like I mentioned, with the applicator, but then it sets down and it has good longevity, but it doesn't suck the life out of my lips. It doesn't feel like there's a ton of alcohol that just sort of evaporates and then I'm left with, you know, some very harsh lines in my lips. It almost feels like a lightweight veil across my lips. It has a soft touch to it. It doesn't emphasize the lines too, too much. It is a matte lipstick. It is a matte lipstick. So to some extent, it's going to sort of show those lines on my lips. It's not filling them in with any gloss or a plumper or satin effect, anything like that. It just looks very natural to me. Now, in terms of the claims, the first one is long lasting. I think that these are pretty long lasting. I tested these out over the weekend and I felt like I could go about three to four hours before I started to notice that I kind of needed to reapply. I felt like I wanted to fix my lipstick and it wears off mostly in the center of the lips. Obviously, you know, you're sipping your coffee, maybe you're eating something, you're rubbing your lips together. It starts to wear off and it does start to feel a little bit dry at that three to four hour mark. That being said, because these are not so heavy duty, like the ones you feel like you have to scrape off your lips, I do feel like it's pretty easy to just pop another layer on and it doesn't get gross. That's key for me when it comes to long lasting formulas. And you also can wipe a little bit off, you know, you could put a little chapstick, wipe a little bit off and then go in with a clean coat and then you're good to go. Most lipsticks don't last three hours for me. I have to reapply pretty often. Maybe that's just me, but I do feel like these are pretty long lasting, as long lasting as I need them to be. The other claim is that these are buildable. I already touched upon this. I do think that they are buildable. I wouldn't put on too much though because these are a matte lipstick so I wouldn't keep going on with more and more coats. I feel like with about two coats of this I get full-on opacity. I put a bunch on, I smear it around and then I go in with a little bit more and I kind of get a nice even layer and crisp look around the perimeter of the lips. The claims also say that this is transfer resistant. It's not. It's not transfer resistant, friends. It's long wearing. I feel like it has that longevity, but it transfers onto coffee cups. It's going to transfer onto your utensils. It's not transfer proof. It just isn't. If I go like this, you know, just a little tap, I'm not getting anything on to my hands, but flat out, it's not transfer resistant. You're kind of sacrificing that for a little bit more comfort. If you really want to be locked and loaded, you're probably going to be going for like a little bit of a drier formula. And then the last claim is that these are smoothing and blurring a little bit. I described to you before, it has that sort of soft touch to it. It feels pretty natural. It feels pretty lightweight. And I don't feel like these emphasize the lines as much as a lot of other more drying, long lasting formulas. I don't really think that it blurs the lines on your lips. I really don't because this is a matte formula. So if that is something that you are very concerned about, I might not go with this. I'd probably go with a regular Tom Ford matte or maybe more of like a satin formula. But I think that for a liquid lipstick, it does a nice job 
of not emphasizing anything. I definitely think it does a better job than the NARS Long Lasting Lipsticks and the Dior Long Lasting Lipsticks. I do get some comments from you guys on those reviews that you feel like those emphasize the lines in my lips a little bit too much. That really doesn't bother me, but if it bothers you, I think that this one does a much better job at giving you that sort of natural look and not enhancing any lines or creases that you might have in your lips. So final thoughts, friends. I think that these are quite nice. These are probably the best liquid lipsticks that I've tried. I'm not a liquid lipstick connoisseur. I haven't tried every single one on the market, but I do have a lot of luxury lipsticks in my collection. And I think that these are good. I do think that it is a luxury formula. These are not going to replace my standard bullet matte lipsticks, however, especially for nude shades. I still really like Charlotte Tilbury, Matte Revolution. I like the Pat McGrath. I love the Lisa Eldridge. I like the Tom Ford. I like bullet lipsticks still. I still think you get a little bit more comfort from a bullet lipstick, but you're not gonna get as much longevity. So if you're looking, especially for bright colors, something that's really gonna pop and be long lasting, I think that these are good, but they are liquid lipsticks. So after three or four hours, they do start to feel kind of dry and you do have to reapply them. This is not a miracle product by any means, but I think especially for this beautiful color range and for something that is a little bit more bright and you really wanna like lock and load and get more longevity, I think that these are a good pick. Unfortunately, friends, the biggest downside of these liquid lipsticks is that they are incredibly, incredibly overpriced. I'm sure there's other liquid lipsticks on the market that you guys love, so comment down below and let me know which ones you have had luck with. It is the same price as a regular Tom Ford lipstick. So if you love Tom Ford lipsticks and you wanna give these a try and you're used to paying that amount, pick up one. Pick up one in like a brighter shade probably. If you're gonna just pick up a nude, you can probably just stick to the bullet lipsticks. I don't think you're gonna need this much longevity. I don't think you're gonna be getting anything different, any incremental benefit from picking up the nude shades in this line. And I think that's why most of the shades in the line of these liquid lipsticks are a little bit brighter. I think that you could just pick up a regular Tom Ford bullet lipstick, or you could save a little bit more money and maybe go for like a Charlotte Tilbury, a Pat McGrath, a Lisa Eldridge. They're all still more on like the luxury side of the spectrum, but you're gonna save a little bit of money and you're probably gonna get the exact same thing. So those are my thoughts, friends. I really like these, but they are really expensive. So think about what you're gonna use them for. Think about where you're gonna wear these shades and the other products that you have in your collection and pick up one to start. But enough about what I think. I wanna hear what you think. Sound off in the comments down below. If you have picked these up, please let us know what your experience has been. Let us know what shades you got. I would love to know. If you like this video, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And with that, friends, I hope that you see some beauty in your day and I will see you in my next one. Goodbye.